So in the last episode, we were able to remove an item from our cart. And in this episode, I want us to work on this button for increasing the quantity uh, for a product that is already in the cart. So I'll come to our use cart file here and below our handle uh, remove product from cart, I'll create a new function right here. So here you can just say const handle cut uh, qty increase so cut quantity increase and we'll set this to be a use callback we invoke it we pass an arrow function right here it also expects us to have a dependency array the dependency array here uh, will contain our cut products and this use callback will receive an item so it will be similar to this so i'll say product of type cut product type and then in here we can write our logic so to begin with we can set a threshold of a maximum a value that our product quantity can be so i can say uh, product dot quantity is equals is equals is equals to 99 that is the maximum you can set it to 20 uh, thousand so this is up to you or the client so now right here we will return immediately and we will toast an error using toast.error and we pass a message and we can say oops uh, maximum reached so at the top here i'll create a variable that will help us to update the state and i'll say let uh, updated cut like that it will be undefined and we'll be able to use it at the bottom here let's perform a check of whether we already have cut uh, products so if we have cut products let's proceed down here and we will set our updated cut to be equal to these cut products so i can spread the cut products like that now the next thing that i want to know is the index of this product that we want to update in our cut products array we can use the find index array method and we had used it earlier and i'll go and copy it so i'll open our fire explorer then let's minimize everything i'll go to app then uh, product product details here in a use effect we had used this uh, particular method here so i'll copy this logic and i'll come back here and i'll paste it here now this will be the index of our product right here that we are trying to increase its quantity inside our cut products array and we can use this index to increase the quantity for this particular product but first of all uh, we'll make sure that this exists so if existing index is greater than negative one that means that um, the product exists in our array else it does not so here we'll say if uh, existing index is greater than uh, negative one then that product exists so right here we can go ahead and increase its quantity and how will i do that i'll say uh, updated cut and then we will get that product then right here we will get its quantity and we will set that to be plus plus and we access this again so i'll copy that and i paste it in front of our plus plus so this way this will increase the quantity of that particular product that we are trying to update and now the only thing that remains is to update our cut products uh, right here using our set cut products and we invoke this and we pass our updated cut so i'll also come down here and i'll update the local storage so we'll say local storage dot set item and we invoke this we pass our key which is eShop cut items and right here we pass our json dot stringify and we invoke it we pass our updated cut so this is it okay i hope this makes sense so now all we need to do is to take this handle cut uh, quantity increase uh, we will define its type at the top here it will be similar to this one so i can duplicate this one alt shift bottom arrow then i take this 
I remove it and paste what I copied that way. Now our value expects us to pass this function. So down here, you see value comprints. We come here and we pass handle cut quantity increase and I save. Now let's hook it up to this button. So we come here at our item content. We bring in handle cut quantity increase and then we go to this button plus button. Okay, we had already added this handle quantity increase and right here we paste our handle cut quantity increase. We invoke it and we should pass our cut item. I save and let's see. So here I click this does nothing here. Look, it increase its quantity and also the totals here are updating. Decrease is not yet working. So in the next episode, let's work on our decrease.